We would be on a mountainside, 500 miles from the nearest sound store. What, what I call this whole thing is my go anywhere, do anything kit. <laughs> The way TV shoots these days, it's very frenetic. You might be asked to do a whole lot yeah. without any notice. Hi, this is Kim Kyland back with another Ursa Exclusives. This week we're here with Tom Curley, sound mixer extraordinaire from films like Whiplash and fresh off a TV series called Yellowstone, which is why you see all of Tom's gear is covered in a very fine layer of M Montana? Yeah. Montana dust. <laughs> um, and, and this has been wiped down, yeah. <laughs> but it, it gets worked in deep yeah. when you're, when you're uh, uh, that remote. I um, understand. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's nice that we didn't try to wipe it down further. I mean, this is, this is straight from the spirit of the job you were just on. That's I right. like it. And I should say, we're also here at True Audio in Burbank, California. This is one of our favorite stores here. We love the community that these people build, and we're just really happy to be shooting here. So thanks, True. So, gosh, I don't know where to start. There's a bunch of cool stuff here. Yeah. Well, where do you um, want to start? Uh, well, the frame, yeah. if you don't recognize it, is a PSC Eurocart. Mm -hmm. um, and I had originally tried to build something like this on my own, which I was partially successful, but it just wasn't robust enough for what I needed out in the field. Yeah. Um, the uh, the Eurocart is a modular system, um, so like this part here is a rack mount unit that they mm -hmm. uh, have for us to put monitors and wireless receivers and stuff like that on. Um, the uh, the shelves are all adjustable so you can move them up or down uh, as well as this drawer. Mm. Um, they even make a bracket that's custom made to bolt in the, uh, the CL12 mixer. Oh wow. Um, that being said, uh, I have modified it with a couple of uh, aftermarket things, like uh, this is a Chinda headphone hook, mm -hmm. and um, I put this uh, iPad holder in to hold my iPad. Awesome. And, and you um, did something with the wheels now. Yeah, I moved the wheels back about four inches. Mm -hmm. um, the way it comes, they're, they're forward a little bit, and I was having an issue with it being back heavy. Mm. Um, and so I didn't want it to risk falling over into a mud puddle or something. Yeah. So, um, and then it's got this awesome uh, battery system that they cut that they made specifically for the Euro cart. Oh wow! Um, which is called the Power Star Euro, and um, that's also a PSC product. So, so that um, this uh, this battery system uh, runs up here. So there's a a meter and a you know on and off buttons and then all the connectors are oh, wow. integrated into that so it's it's really compact yeah. and it's a very clean look too you can see right away where your power is yeah, exactly so right above that um, battery system I have my time code master which is an ambient mm -hmm. master clock that's that's uh, probably one of my favorite new additions to my kit and mm -hmm. that was uh, initially. Um, that was recommended to me by the DP of Yellowstone because um, he had just gotten off of a series that used it and they said that series long they never had a single time code issue. That's beautiful. And that's what I wanted. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but really what the, the saving grace of the uh, ambient um, time code network mm -hmm. is what they call it um, is the master clock has a, uh, a jam signal that it sends out wirelessly every six seconds. It not only jams these slates uh, wirelessly, but this is how long it takes to get the whole thing up and running. Oh my God, that's beautiful. And these wow. will maintain sync on their own if they lose the signal, and then yeah. every time they get back into range, they'll it's check. It's just they'll... this little antenna guy there, yeah? Yeah, there's just a little, I think it's a Wi-Fi signal. Wow. Um, but these are great. ACs love them. Yeah, I can see why. Uh, oh yeah, it's got this cool little handle <laughs> exactly. thing on it so that you can uh, you can do a one-handed operation. Yeah, that's lovely. And then you have locket boxes for camera as well, right? right? The nano lockets um, work on the same principle as the slate. Uh, the nano locket, at the time it was the smallest uh, but I think there's others now on the market yeah. that are slightly smaller than this, but... Um, but maybe those are not sending and receiving like right, this one is. Right, this has the, uh, the same cross-check feature mm -hmm. as the slate. So I have um, 
you know, I, I was able to send time code to up to five cameras. Wow. And never once did we have a, a complaint from post about wow. sync. So what about, let's move on to, we've done the cart. What about your recorder? Um, so Jumping around a bit here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm using the uh, Sound Devices 688 and uh, CL12 system right now. The 688 system also uh, is, is pretty great because uh, the 633 mm -hmm. system is what I have in my bag. Right, so just the and smaller one to this guy. Exactly, cool. and if I ever need to, um, you know, get up away from the cart and go running, yeah. I know that everything's going to be exactly the same. That's awesome. And, you know, stuff like that that you don't have to worry about or think about yep. in the middle of a really trying or time sensitive shoot yeah. can make all the difference. Absolutely. Um, well, the next thing we can look at is wireless. When I started buying wireless, it was always Electrosonics. Yeah. And at first, that was because Zaxcom products were at least twice as expensive, I think. Mm. And I didn't have the money to even entertain that. So yeah. I wanted to get the best that I could afford, and that was Electrosonics, which is the industry standard. And, you know, the, they're they're Amazing. great. Yeah, yeah there, absolutely. There's, there's nothing to complain about there. It's yeah. it's uh, um, it's been an absolutely rock solid product from the 20 years ago when I bought the, their 200 series, <laughs> all the way up till now with their Ven, Venue 2 and the LMs and SM series. Um, we we get incredible quality, incredible range, ease of use. Yeah. The the remote feature that they have on them is awesome. Actors love them. Um, you know, there's there's not there's much to say. to complain about, yeah. yeah. Especially on a show like Yellowstone where you are, you're really out in, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. That kind of reliability is very important. It's critical. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, we would be on a mountainside, um, you know, 50 miles from civilization and 500 miles from the nearest sound store, yeah. so you know uh, we couldn't really afford for anything to go wrong, and yeah. unfortunately nothing did. I've been through the Venue One series, and I still have those. Yeah. And those are my backups for cart receivers. Okay. Um, and then I have uh, two sets of each block for the dual slot receivers. Cool. And. Um, Anyway, so the uh, the venue series the venue series is great for an installation, um, but also I never know if I'm gonna need to uh, take off or modify my rig or mm -hmm. you know uh, be more mobile than I already am. So that's why I've hung on to the uh, dual slot receivers. Um, these two units are velcroed together, yeah. and if I needed to, I could pull this off and have six channels without having to change anything else. That's great. Um, yeah, I think modular is very important when it comes to a kit, because it, it yeah. always depends on the job you're doing or where you're going to be. This, you know, that determines what you want and how you want to set it up. Yeah. yeah. And the the um, the way TV shoots these days, it's mm -hmm. very frenetic. You might be asked to do a whole lot yeah. without any notice. And I know. So <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to be able to have that kind of freedom of just telling them, yeah. You need this in 10 minutes. Yes, I can do that yeah, for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that could make the difference between getting hired back the next time. Yep, totally. And what about this? How does the iPad help you when you're out in the field? So um, that I use exclusively for two things. This, is the, this is the Master Lock uh, time code system. And this is really great because from here, you can not only see uh, the time code information, but mm. it'll also show you the telemetry and the yeah. battery status On of all, all the devices, all your little that's beautiful things. And you can change like frame rates. Um, yeah. You know, you can set your own time code. There's all yeah. kinds of all from one this will actually even also control the 788. Really, but I found that I like the interface on the Wingman better. And so the Wingman system, I really just use for. Um, convenience like mm. naming tracks arming tracks um, you know changing the scene names putting notes in the notes feature is great yeah and then at the end of the day it generates a sound report and I can just email that to whoever needs it That's and, awesome. and off we go wonderful and um, what about monitors so I've been through a lot of monitors <laughs> um, 
I think when I first started, it was a little Sony cathode ray mm -hmm. brick that weighed about 80 pounds. And, <laughs> um, but now uh, this uh, Marshall M-Lynx 503 is, um, is pretty awesome. It's, uh, it's got three screens, full control over all three screens. There's loop throughs. Uh, it does SDI, HDMI, wow. um, I think there's even, yeah, there's old uh, analog connectors on there as That's well. That's really cool. Um, and, it, and it all runs off of a four pin XLR battery. Right. Um, so you get all the features of a, of a TV station monitor system mm. in a really, really compact, portable uh, product there. I noticed you have quite the setup next to your beautiful card. Oh yeah. What I call this whole thing is my go anywhere, do anything kit. <laughs> um, and this is something that I've evolved most recently while working on Yellowstone because mm -hmm. we had all kinds of days where the only way to get to our set was to load gear into a, uh, a gator, which is like one of those little oh mini. Gosh. It's like a little bit bigger than a quad runner yeah. um, or a golf cart, you know? Yeah. And the, the cargo bed on them is just barely big enough to fit that stuff right there and wow this plus a boom pole gives us everything we need to yeah. go make a world-class tv show That's it's phenomenal. it's taken a while but yeah. um these modular toolbox things are great mm -hmm. um there's all kinds of room in there for all your little tricks and mm -hmm. you can move stuff around and organize it however you like this thing i have made my uh this is my comtech bag. Oh, interesting. Part of the reason for that is that it's weather resistant mm. and that was al also a, uh, a concern out there. So, um, but this has room for, well, yeah. I, I have 20 Comtex, but also all of the headphones, uh, camera folks like to use single ear headphones. Um, and then there's little compartments for like batteries and stuff here. This is great. And, uh, if you do that, it's mostly waterproof, so if we yeah. get rained on, it's, it's okay. not really that big of a deal. That's great. Yeah. And that seems, little details like that seem essential when you're on a show like Yellowstone. Yeah. I mean, because they can't always have something set up for you, I'm right. assuming. Well, th I mean, they were pretty good with uh, pop-up tents and stuff. That's but great. it still takes a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Um, and the electronics don't care about that. And That's then true. this this is a uh, battery charging rig that is gonna look like a whole rat's nest of wires in there but <laughs> to have this uh, uh, anywhere yeah you know uh, I can cover it up if it's raining again right, you but just close it you know we can we can have uh, 16 eye power batteries charging uh, these are to recharge the uh, nano lockets mm -hmm. um, got Sony info lithium charger mm -hmm. and then the new smart battery um, this is great. I, th th there used to be an NP1 charger here, but right. I don't need that much space anymore for that. Mm. So, and then here we have, like I said, all yeah. your utility everything you could need stuff. Yeah, um, I see a lot of familiar stuff: some Ursa stuff, some yep. Joe sticky stuff, um, Rycote, yeah, top stick. I buy them all. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what about what do we have here in terms of layers? So I see a lot um, of the kind of like. Um, you know, little fur pieces and tape up top. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to use the most often. Um, so we just have, you know, some batteries, sticky yep. stuff. Uh, these are very important. What are those? Altoids. Oh, I thought they were safety pins or something. Nope. <laughs> you don't want to offend anyone. Yes. Uh, you know, we have some auxiliary belt clips, uh, transport tape, ankle straps. Yep, awesome. A lavalier that might need fixing. <laughs> we'll find out later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and bongo ties. Leave it here at True. Yeah, bongo ties. That's also. Oh, absolutely. Um, oh, there's a second layer to this because this is like a ah, tackle box type of thing. I love this layering. So um, right now I have uh, the nano lockets in here. Um, More Comtex. A couple of Comtex. These ones I have recently been using for a camera feed. Mm. So you just plug your little XLR adapter in and hand that to the camera guys and it's good enough. So then this comes off. And there's a bucket. Ooh. So 
this is a Sound Devices MM1 preamp. Okay. And this, these are what I use for my booms. I, I plug a uh, SM transmitter mm -hmm. into it instead of a plug-on transmitter. Oh, okay. And this allows the boom op to have gain control, limiter control, roll-off control. They can plug hardwire into their headphones. Mm. And this outputs a line level signal to the transmitter, right? which is a cleaner signal overall. That's and great. And removes preamps from the, from the chain and everything. Um, but it gives the boom operator a lot of control. It's very robust. Yeah. I think you can also even patch the uh, IFB feed into this as well. That's great. But the best thing about this whole rig is that if you have a quarter watt transmitter, yeah then you can have your boom at quarter watt. If, mm. if they're using the plug-on transmitter, they only go to 100 milliwatts. Right, right. So uh -huh. in, in uh, big range arenas, you know. Yeah, like, you're going to need that yeah. for sure. And does that um, always fall in the mixer, you feel like, to provide things like this? I would, I would at least have that conversation, mm. you know. But generally speaking, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. I would not not want to work with a boom operator because they didn't have stuff like that. Yeah, um, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna hand this back to you. All right. Really, then it just gets bigger from here. This is I have like a video cable down there, mm -hmm. antenna cables, more headphones. This um, this is my lavalier. Mm. All um, the mounting stuff. Man. Yeah. So that's got all yeah. their. The RM11s, some Hida Mic, some Bubble Bee, some Ursa. Yep. All the good stuff. Yeah. Nice. You never know which tool is going to be yeah, the right one. Exactly. And Very these cool. are, this is a really cool product that I don't know that it, everybody knows about. Uh, Unisolve. It's Unisolve, but it's an adhesive remover mm -hmm. and it's a medical product. They okay. use it to take off surgical tape and things like That's that. So awesome. it's safe for all kinds of skin. Mm. And it degunks the wires and the right. and the actors. As opposed to using alcohol, which is so drying. Yeah. Yeah. That's a cool trick. That's it for us this week. Thank you for watching this Ursa exclusive What's in Your Kit with Sound Mixer Tom Curley. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you, True Audio, for hosting us and letting us film in this location. We'll be back soon with more. Bye. We love seeing what's in the sound kits and carts of our colleagues, and we couldn't be more grateful to Tom Curley for taking the time to speak with us. Tune in next week when we talk to Tom about his work on the film that won him an Oscar, Whiplash. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Biggest thanks of all to our sponsor, Ursa Straps, for collaborating with us and making this series possible. This is your host, Kim Kyland at Bird Murmur, signing off.